we got our mail today from my mom's house. And what on earth did you buy now? So this is a shower sump pump. What we have in our, the three showers on board is just the pump that connects to a hose. And you hit a button that goes through a capacitor, a relay capacitor that runs it for 15 seconds, which is entirely inconvenient when taking a shower. So this is an automatic shower bilge pump. The water will come in here and then this will pump it out when it gets so high inside the box so we don't have to keep pushing the button and especially difficult when you get soap in your eyes trying to get that stuff out so this will just take care of that no more button pushing hopefully what's going on i don't know the answer to that this line is putting a lot of water out And I disconnected the pump, you get all kinds of water coming in, which is kind of weird. But that stopped. So. Unfortunately, the pumps that we ordered for the shower bilges, the automatic bilges, did not work out and ended up having to be sent back. They could not raise the water out of the boat. Next, we're going to start working on the shower bilge pumps. These are the last two repairs that are required for the port side of the boat. Pushing it again. What's it showing? Nothing. Fuse. I should have turned it on. I'm going to take the fuse out. Just see if it starts up that way. So we can check the continuity of the fuse circuit. Just move the multimeter back over to the little horseshoe shape. Check one side to the other, see if we get stuff. Nope. Nope, it does not like that fuse connection. Oh, there we go. Yep, we're getting good now. So what is this telling me? So maybe I got the contacts clean enough that current will pass through it. So let's try it again. Okay. So the European wiring on these, the purple is the positive and American wiring Red is the positive, so at least both wiring styles use black as the negative, so it's just purple is positive and black is the negative. I'm still okay. seeing a lot of salt residue. Yeah, want to turn that button again? Sure. Oh. Alright, pushing the button. Nothing. Nothing. Alright. Now we try it without the fuse in there. Let's do right. This connector is red. And black. Alright, button. Okay. Push in the button. Okay. Button's pushed. So nothing there. 
Oop. Start charging. Oh, sorry. I hit the Roomba. <laughs> hit the mermaid. Did you get anything? Nope. So I'm going to replace this connector now with uh, some new connections and see if that does it. Just finished the laundry. Any luck? Yep. All bad. What's bad? Okay. No luck. Oh, no luck. Or bad luck. What's bad? Well, I replaced the wire couple on these two. Mm-hmm. And it's still not getting anything, so now I was just putting the old part back on to see if it does something. Nothing? I haven't checked it yet. Yeah, because the new part that we got is a lot smaller and looks different from the original part. Yeah, something's still not right. Pressing? Okay. Release? Released. Okay. So that is hitting this one for some reason. So I think I got a wire backwards. Okay, I'm done for now. Okay. Back to switching. So have you got this bathroom taken care of yet or you're troubleshooting the other one first? Troubleshooting both now. Any? Uh, there are so many severed wires, I'm not sure that I put them back together in their right spots. Alright. You ready for me to tap? Yep. <laughs> Oh, sweet! Good job, Patrick! <laughs> Woohoo! That's only been a minute. Okay. So, what did we do to get this shower pump working? So, I put it, this old relay was still working. I tried to use some other relays, but they seemed to only be one second relays, and so. I think they sent me the wrong product for these from Germany, so won't be sending those back. But put the old relay on, uh, it was clicking when we applied power to it, hooked it up to the pump, good to go. The other pump was working, but when I applied power to it now, it's not working, so we're probably going to have to replace that pump. But yeah, this is pretty good for today. And the relay switch for the other side, we goofed it up, so yeah. now we got to find the correct relay switch. Yeah, there's a lot of corrosion on it, and when I was trying to get the plugs on, it ended up bending two of them, breaking them off. So I ordered this timer relay for our pump downstairs because the, the other timer relay um, we would have to get from England, I think. And this one is available on Amazon. It's a programmable timer relay. You hook up the USB over to USB power, which is over there. You turn it on, you get a red light, and then when you when you got power, then it gets a blue light. So now it's talking to this thing, which is the relay. So now I'm trying to connect to the address of this so that I can program it. So but it does not seem to be wanting to connect, but I typed in the address wrong, so let's try it with the correct address. And you're doing this with your phone? Yeah, there it is. So yep, I just connected into it, so. Now I'm gonna set up the configuration. This is a very versatile device that'll do timer on delay so if you hit a button it'll wait so long before it turns on the power to the device or a timer off delay which is you hit a button and it runs for so long and then it turns itself off which is how we want the shower pump to work so hit the button have it run for maybe 30 seconds and then it'll shut off the shower pump and then if the, the, whoever's using the shower wants it to turn back on again to empty out the shower they just hit the button again you just installed the new shower pump, right? Yeah, the new pump, I just installed that, mounted it, connected the pipes back up to it. It's working on electrical. This is the old timer relay. 
and this is what I would have to get from England and this is a new style of timer relay it's a programmable timer relay so you saw earlier I was programming it I just put the electrical connections on it and now I'm gonna plug it into the wires and see if I did everything right that should work at this point so give that a try so red to red go black to black and yellow goes to the pump wire which is this big purple wire and blue goes to my button wire which is the small purple which I just did that into the small purple this into the big purple and blue to the small purple all right double check everything Okay, so now I'm going to hit the button and see if we get some noise. Perfect. Nice! So this just happened. I'm trying to do a little bit of light laundry today. And all of a sudden the machine was making a lot of noise. And once it um, turned off, I came down here to look and see what was going on. And it has broken loose from the wall and it's just barely hanging on. Here's one of the bolts. Um, so the support system has seemed to have failed and Patrick's not on board right now. So I just sent him a text message saying, help, the machine is falling out of the wall. Um, so he's on his way back to the belt so we can troubleshoot this and get this up and going again. Um, we're looking at departure in about nine days so this is definitely going to be something we're going to need so Patrick's working late tonight working on the washing machine issue Patrick how are you fixing the issue <laughs> so yeah I left the boat for a couple minutes to go get some parts from the hardware store and when I came back Elizabeth texted me the washing machine had fallen off the wall so, well, it was technically dangling, hadn't completely yeah, hadn't fallen. fallen yet. <laughs> Thank so, goodness. It was loose, and the thing is, this this insert in here is solid on three sides, but it's not solid really on the top, and the back was just really flimsy. So I put this piece of plywood in here originally, and just put some little I'd call them pitcher hanging angle bolts and they did not hold up to the washing machine vibrating so then put some lag screws in and some big thick angle iron and then we'll put it back up on the wall it's still wobbly at the top so i'll probably have to do something up there but we haven't secured the sides yet once those get secured we'll see what it's at i have one more bracket and a lot more bolts if we need to use those but I hope this works because the washing machine is literally when we run it, shaking the boat apart. Well, maybe not shaking it apart, but shaking us. <laughs> it definitely vibrates when we're up in the salon. And of course the washing machine is not in the salon. The washing right. machine is down here in the hull on the starboard side. Yeah, so it's even up top. It's vibrating the boat so much that the TV upstairs is vibrating back and forth when it's on its spin cycle which the spin cycle only lasts a minute and it's super high speed but sometimes it's a little off balance in there and it'll vibrate that washing machine really hard and then other times it's just barely it's pretty balanced and it doesn't really vibrate it that hard so We'll just uh, try to secure this up. And we try to monitor what we're putting in there. So he wears cotton shorts every once in a while. So if there's a pair of cotton shorts in there versus plastic wear, <laughs> it might just be <laughs> the shorts. And those shorts will just rock and roll this machine. Um, plastic wear and like thin t-shirts, it seems to be fine. Um, yep. 
but it went crazy and I have to say I think I had cotton shorts in there when it came off the wall yeah and I was getting this getting that machine out it was a little bit hard because these big bolts decided to thread on there when you put them in they just sit on there but they decided to thread in so I had to take doors off and then it was a little bit of minor patching that one needed minor <laughs> that but luckily the washing machine will sit over the top of it so yeah it's uh I'm gonna okay. fix that with a little tan colored crayon so i'm glad i didn't do that damage so back at it gonna finish this up and then resecure it to the wall tonight and yep it's almost nine o'clock and we still haven't even thought about dinner <laughs> yeah. and little man is hungry yeah that's not me that's square <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we just put the top lag bolts in along the top. Nothing is moving at all now, and it even bent the angle bracket to get it in there solid. So this seems like it's pretty good. I'll put the bottoms in and the sides, vacuum it out, and I won't put the washing machine back in. But it seems like we've fixed a lot of the problem. And I guess we need to check upstairs to make sure we didn't cause a new problem. Yep. <laughs> All right, so the washing machine is mounted. This looks like something out of steampunk with all the bolts and brackets here on the sides on the bottom and on the left side uh, seems pretty solid so i think that uh we'll just put together the uh put the cover on it and i got some plumbing work to do down below and put the doors back on the enclosure here and we'll be good to go okay it's time to do laundry so let's check out our new bolt job that patrick did Now it's time to test this machine. It is spinning fast to dry the clothes. And so far, so good. The machine is not rocking. The boat's not vibrating. I would call Patrick's mounting job a success. After all this work, it's time to have some fun. Hello, look at our guest. <laughs> we were having empanadas and black beans and rice today. Say hey, Kayla and Abby. Hey, hey Kayla and Abby. <laughs> <laughs> we are about to start the engine, so we're doing like a, a dinner cruise-like cruise. Oh, sweet. Yes, even though we're leaving the ropes on the boat. Gonna, we might put it in gear and get a little jerkiness. Oh, geez, no. How about we just pull the line and steal the kids? <laughs> Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed our show. If so, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Subscribing is free and a great way to show us your support. Have comments for us? Please drop us a line. We love to receive feedback.